Hello, thank you for tuning in. In this video, we're going to take a look at the infancy gospel of Jesus Christ, chapter 17, and maybe even bleed into a little bit of chapter 18. Now, this is important because I think this is something that um, we are living in today and will certainly be living in tomorrow. These are not just nice bedtime stories. These are prophecy. These are things that are going to happen indefinitely. So let's take a look. On another day, the Lord Jesus came out into the street, seeing some boys who were meet to play, joins himself to their company. But when they saw him, they hid themselves and left him to seek for them. The Lord Jesus came to the gate of a certain house and asked some women who were standing there where the boys had gone. And they answered, there was no one there. And the Lord Jesus said, who are those whom you seek in the furnace? Okay, this is clearly going on today. Out of the millions of people that are watching, people who are, do not know their left hand from their right hand, who are lost without a shepherd, who deep inside do not want the fiery flames of hell and want to be redeemed. But because of pressure from the world and, and just going with the flow and being afraid of persecution and going against the grain, um, they hide themselves from Christ. And, and the women and, and their holders and their maidservants and, and their magistrates say, I don't know what you're talking about. There's no one here for you. So, you know, we're seeing this happen right now. So as they answered Jesus and said, there's no one here for you. But Jesus said, who are those who you see in the furnace? Because clearly those who want to repent get um, persecuted and are so-called thrown in the fiery furnace of affliction. So it's interesting how the handmaidens answered, the ones in the furnace were kids of three years old. Okay, so let's take a look at that. What does that mean? Who are the kids of three years old? So kids means they're young lambs, right? They're just young lambs, babes in Christ at best. So being three years old, this would clearly take us to the famous prophecies of Hosea 6, verses 1 to 3. Come, let us return unto the Lord, for he has torn, and he will heal us. He has smitten, but he will bind us up. After two days, he will revive us, and in the third day, we will be raised up and live in his sight. All right, so these people who secretly want Christ, but they're going to hide from him, are three, days, are three days old. They're, they're ready to live in His sight, in their hearts. They're ready to live in their sights, whether they even realize it or not. Now, mind you, the number three is the balance and harmony of all things, it is the kindness in which all shall cultivate and grow. It is that fulfillment of the law and the reward and the punishment it is the harmony and the balance of all things. Then shall we know if we follow to know the Lord his going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come onto us as the rain, as the latter, and even as the former rain onto the earth. So then Jesus cried aloud and said, Come out there, O you kids, to your shepherd, come out of that furnace. And presently the boys came forth like kids and leaped about him, which when the woman saw, they were exceedingly amazed and, tre and were trembled. Okay, Christ came for sinners. Okay, now Christ has not come to the earth yet, so this will surely happen. But truly a type and shadow of this likely is happening. Christ came for sinners. He will pull them out of that furnace. And what is that furnace? The, the days of vengeance, the, the days of affliction, the big long now that's coming.
Then they immediately worshipped the Lord Jesus and beseeched him, saying, O oh, our Lord Jesus, Son of Mary, right Son of the earth, you are truly that good shepherd of Israel. Have mercy on your handmaids who stand before you, who do not doubt, but that you, O oh Lord, are come to save and not to destroy. After that, when the Lord Jesus said, the children of Israel are like Ethiopians among the people. Okay, Ethiopians among the people. Who? Well, what does that mean? What are biblical Ethiopians? People who need to be converted. People who really do not know Christ. They don't know the ways of the Lord because they've never been taught. They don't know their right hand from their left hand. It is the people of Nineveh. And we see this, the, the Ethiopian that was converted in the book of Acts. If you remember in the video of the seed of great Seth, um, one of the entities of women that John has to battle with is the women of Cush. This is a tribe of Ethiopia. They are sinners, but, and they are strong sinners, but they don't really know the ways of Christ. And they don't really know the Bible. They don't really understand. They need a shepherd. After that, when the Lord Jesus said, the children of Israel are like Ethiopians among the people. The women said, You, Lord, know all things, nor is anything concealed from you. But now we entreat you and beseech of your mercy that you would restore these boys to their former state. Okay? These are, this is the great tribulation for the wicked that's coming. The big long now that Kurt Cobain uh, sang about. Then Jesus said, Come here, O boys, that you may go and play. Right? Remember, riders in the storm, let your children play. Take a long holiday, let your children play. Come here, O boys, that we may go and play. And immediately, in the presence of these women, the kids were changed and returned to the shape of boys. So let's read a little bit into the next chapter. Now in the month of Adar, Jesus gathered together the boys and marked them and ranked them as though he had been a king. Okay, so the prophecies say that Christ will assort um, the lots of the saints to their appropriate tribes and all that kind of stuff. Now, this is the month of Adar, okay? Adar means glorious. Adar is the 12th month of the Hebrew calendar. Now, our calendars are all messed up. And you look up on the Hebrew calendar, it means Adar is the pregnant month. It's added to the leap year. So it's added to the body of Christ, which is absolutely glorious. And, and that's the heart of God is to bring sinners into the kingdom. To add, not take away. For they spread their garments on the ground for him to sit on. And having made a crown of flowers, right? Flowers, we covered flowers in the heart-shaped box video. We are all as like flowers in the grass. And put it upon his head. And stood on his right and his left as guards of a king. And if anyone happened to pass by, they took him by force and said come here and worship the king that you may have a prosperous journey <laughs>